Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today, we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius today. Show me now. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, if, um, oh, by the way, I just want to say, uh, if the table looks different, it's because I'm no longer in London, I'm in France now. So, but let's get your reading started. So we've got the Nine of Cups here, the King of Swords, and the Empress. Hmm. Okay, when I say someone or somebody, that means roles can be reversed. You, it could be either be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. So the Nine of Cups here indicates somebody could be wishing to move towards Kama Water. But right now, with the King of Swords, this is an indication of someone strategizing or planning because they may see you or that you may see them with the Empress here as somebody very nurturing, somebody who has the whole package, beautiful, good looking, doesn't matter, he or she is not gender specific so we've got the four pentacles here there's definitely a very cold energy of someone here whom could be um afraid to reach out afraid to express how they feel so just keeping this very cool and calm king of swords facade here okay we've got the three of wands here but actually still waiting waiting for the right moment to speak or to make a decision so definitely there's a decision here two of wands in upright and the two of swords in reverse so somebody could be indecisive right now hmm. For those of you involved in a third party situation, someone here is indecisive and is needing to make a choice between two persons. Again, it could be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. But eventually, the choice will be very clear. A choice will be made. Somebody will choose this person with the Empress here whom they see as the one who has the whole package. The one who is the most beautiful with, you know, beautiful inside and out. It's just the whole package, you know, everybody has different requirements, um, how do you say, it? To, to some people, okay, somebody may be a whole package, but some people they're not, so, you know, different tastes, um, different expectations, different requirements, but there's somebody here for sure that I'm seeing, someone is making a choice to choose, most likely it's you, because the Empress, I do read it as um, a bit of an air sign, Libra, but it can be any sign, yeah? It can be any sign, doesn't really matter. But I feel like it's somebody choosing you, making a choice to choose you. Unless you're the one who needs to make a choice between two person, And I feel like you're going to be choosing someone whom is um, the empress. Somebody whom... I feel like, you know, the king of swords could be you as well, right? Doesn't matter. Again, king or queen is not gender specific. But you're going to be very logical uh, with your approach. Um, or... It's more like you, it's you choosing somebody whom you can see being with long term, not just that, somebody whom could be a good husband, a good wife, uh, or good good father, a good mother to the future children, to, to your future children, or it could be existing children right now, but just making the right choice, that's what I'm getting, or it could be, be an indication of someone seeing you as that, right, as the empress, that you could potentially be a very good husband, very good wife, father, mother of their children, or children in the future, there's no children, <laughs> so okay, it's exhausting to <laughs> explain that part, but anyway, we've got the nine of cups here, six of swords, and the four of swords, okay, and the nine of cups indicates your your wish is coming true some of you could be wishing to meet the right one if you're single and i'm sensing you will meet that right one yeah because the empress is here you will see this person uh, as a very clear choice eventually if you don't yet with the two of wands here so the six of swords also can be an indication of somebody moving on so some of you could be thinking for yourself right now if 
uh, if you've already broken up with somebody, you could be thinking about moving on or needing a break with a four swords here. Needing a break, needing time to think and reflect on everything, right? Just needing a break to see what else is out there. Some of you could be traveling or moving because of money, because of your career, four pentacles. That's just for some of you. Three or ones also can indicate something that is long distance. Some of you, if you're in a long distance relationship, I see someone traveling towards you or you traveling towards them if eventually um because six swords moving towards the right so moving towards the future it will be there'll be some waiting or two of ones can indicate some sort of indecision but eventually two of swords and reverse decision will be made yeah i'm sensing someone is definitely holding on to you or you to them because of the empress and the four of pentacles can't find anybody better than the empress because there's only one empress you know in the entire deck and we have a few queens but let's see more libra gemini and aquarius yeah i've got the seven of wands five of cups here somebody could be disappointed in regards of the past and the seven of uh, past person or past experiences seven of wands indicate someone just doesn't allow somebody to cross their boundaries ever again right and this time around just trying to be a little bit more selfish nine of cups it's not bad to be selfish <laughs> sometimes we and especially with the empress here somebody who may have been giving a lot nurturing a lot however just eventually got disappointed anyway with the five of cups so somebody here could be thinking or feeling you know perhaps i need to think about myself right now other than you know other people we've got the strength here and also we've got the <clears throat> excuse me the hierophant here in love verse the strength can indicate somebody trying to be very very strong some of you if you have some with the hierophant love for some differences whether it's religion uh background race anything uh or just not seeing eye to eye not coming into not compromising so you know the uh, higher front can indicate also uh, some sort of structure right some of you it can be anything again it could be race religion uh, but it could also indicate somebody whom is you know used to being a certain way used to doing things a certain way and while the other person is used to doing things their own way so there could be some sort of a clash here right um, but the higher fun in reverse also can be an indication of a separation or a divorce for those of you who are separated from your person right now the strength card indicates someone is holding back uh, because you know perhaps it could be due to ego or it could be due to because someone has crossed their boundaries at one point in time the magician is right here and the fool um, again for those of you walking away from person person or currently single i see you uh, trying to make something happen for yourself the fool here perhaps um, gaining some sort of freedom or seeing things in a different perspective because the fool for me is someone at home is open to possibilities open to um, seeing new things open to taking risks right uh, for those of you if you're open to that if you're actually doing that or thinking about doing that the magician can indicate you being able to manifest uh, whatever that you want in your life it could be love or it could be money career for pentacles i know there's a love reading but i definitely see the other messages here as well but the magician also may be an indication of somebody wanting to manifest you back into their life but currently with the two of wands just feeling indecisive it could also be you again it could go vice versa indecisive but eventually will come forward two of swords here making a decision to do so and the three of wands is just like you know waiting for the right moment maybe there could be some blockages right now or someone just needing time to rest to think to reflect again mm. but then eventually there's definitely this energy of somebody uh, taking actions towards you or you taking actions towards them someone is wondering with the fool here will will it be too risky should i take this risk should i take this new leap of faith with this person or not because maybe someone the higher form of verse may have had bad experiences in the past right separation or divorce and perhaps fearful in you know committing or to 
take this risk with you or you with this person. Hmm. All right, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with uh, my latest video on the screen right now. And th in that video, I went to the Notting Hill. I saw, you know, Julia, uh, Julia Roberts, um, you know, that, that movie Notting Hill where they filmed at the bookstore and all of that. Um, and also, I saw David Beckham's house, Elle McPherson's. Uh, house, I don't know if you know, she's like one of the top models back in the days, uh, Claudia Schiffer. But anyway, I had a lot of fun and also, and I also went to watch the Lion King show at the Lyceum Theatre. So check out that video if you want to. And also, I will leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. Just click on it. It says bonus compilation. Scroll all the way down. Look for your sign. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. All right. Take care. Bye.